Tokyo is a city with no shortage of viral foods, but have you ever wondered if they were actually worth the hype? Well, buckle up because today I'm going to be trying out four of Tokyo's viral food spots that have set the internet on fire both in Japan and around the world. So let's go see how they taste. Let's go! Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe for more Japan adventures. See you guys there <laughs> in a second. <laughs> Today I'm starting my morning off right with a steaming hot bowl of ramen. And it's actually located here in Kagurazaka, which used to be a geisha district. But now it's a neighborhood with a lot of French influence. You can find a lot of French restaurants, French bakeries, but also really good Japanese food and ramen shops. And that is gonna be my first food of the day. It's a ramen that is French inspired. I think this is it. Yes, here we are. So this is called Salmon Noodle 3.0 and they have this really, really awesome viral salmon ramen. So let's go inside and give it a try. Okay, so first, usually when you come to a ramen restaurant, you buy a ticket at the ticket machine. So the most popular one is this one. It's the white salmon ramen and it's got a carrot espuma on it and for lunch you can get an extra salmon rice I'm gonna get that as well all right I got my ticket let's go sit down oh. <laughs> ありがとうございます。美味しそう。白サーモンのご飯セットに白ワイン付けさせていただきます。はい、ありがとうございます。サーモンのラーメンって食べたことがないんですけれども、どこからこのアイディアが来たんですか。元々はSDGs、サーモ
cooked in salmon oil as well. And it's got these really tasty little crispy salmon bits inside. And the top was like a slightly seared salmon sashimi. Let's try it with the white wine. Oh, that is such a good combination. This is an excellent set meal. Very, very high quality, but at a really affordable price. So this restaurant, you should not miss. Mmm, viral food number one, success. My next viral food is a dessert that I'm actually really excited about because it looks delicious. However, I'm a little worried because it's known as the coughing matcha ice cream. There are lots of posts about it on social media and people try to eat it without coughing. So I'm gonna try the challenge today and see if I can eat it without choking on the matcha powder. Let's go give it a try. <laughs> I got the biggest size that they have, and it's 20% extra ice cream and 20% extra powder. It's important to note that this shop is actually not a cafe at all. It's an actual green tea store. Don't miss out on that either. Let's give this a try though. I'm gonna first try and see if I can eat it without coughing. That's a crazy amount of powder. I think the key is to not breathe when you're eating it. Oh my god, I'm covered in green. <laughs> I was trying to be careful. Oh no, there's green matcha powder everywhere. If you ever get this, be ready to be turned to the Grinch. <laughs> All I can taste is matcha powder. It's really drying, your mouth gets coated in powder. But I think I succeeded in the challenge because I did not cough. All right, let's try the ice cream. Here you go. That one was sneaky. I thought it would be fine because there was hardly any powder on it. So I breathed in. <laughs> the ice cream is really good. It's not too sweet. It's very creamy. It's really thick. And it's got a really nice matcha flavor. But is the coughing matcha worth the hype? I think it depends on whether or not you want to experience the coughing or not. <laughs> if you don't care for just coughing profusely, and you want a really good match ice cream, I would say it's not worth the hype. <laughs> now that I'm thoroughly greenified, I think it's time for me to go find my next viral food. So I'll see you guys over there. I am here now in Shinokubo, which is known as the Korea town of Tokyo. And this is a cafe called Namichini, which is apparently the shortened way to say boyfriend in Korean. And they have a viral sweet here that I want to try. So let's go inside and see what it's like. Come on. This stairway is so cute. Ooh. Wow, come on in you guys. This cafe is very cool. Look at all of these beautiful fixtures. Look at this sofa with this beautiful flower wall. They've clearly designed it to be highly Instagrammable. All right, here we are. So the viral dessert that they have at this cafe is the Neko Pudding which is the cat pudding. And many of you may have seen this online because it wobbles like there's no tomorrow. And there's three flavors. There's the milk flavor, strawberry flavor, and cocoa flavor. They're all different colors. I'm just gonna go with the milk flavor because that's recommended. So let's see if it's worth the hype. Oh, arigatouzaimasu. All right, let's go find our table. Let's sit here. So I have my very jiggly pudding, and I have to say, this cafe is adorable. These walls, perfect place to take photos with a very Instagrammable dessert. So they really thought about their strategy when they designed this cafe. I have decided to get two other puddings, the chocolate one and the strawberry one. Let's start with the milk one. That was the most recommended. It tastes kind of 
almondy. It has this wonderful light almond flavor. Not overly sweet, it's really good. Okay, let's try the jiggly strawberry one next. This one's extra jiggly. <laughs> Whoa, that's very intense. Mmm, that's really good too. It reminds me of strawberry milk. It's very faint, faintly sweet, with like a very soft strawberry flavor. Finally, let's try our jiggly chocolate cat. Oh, that's really good. I think I like that one the most. It tastes like a chocolate pudding, but on top, it has this rich cocoa powder-y taste. Okay, now for the verdict. Is this viral dessert worth the hype? This is a tricky one, but I think I'm gonna say yes. I think it is worth the hype. The reason is because it is highly satisfying. The jiggling is way more fun than I ever imagined it to be. And the cafe is gorgeous. So if you want something just feels cute and very well decorated with a very fun dessert, I think this is definitely worth the hype. Well, that was really fun, but I have one more Tokyo viral food for you guys, so I'll see you guys over there. <laughs> now that I've had some sweet treats, I think it's time for something a little heartier and a little bit savory, and it's gonna be right here at Little Pool Coffee, which is in a little side street nook of an area called Omotisando, which is one of the trendiest districts in the city. and. I'm really looking forward to what they have here because I saw it online and they have one of the butteriest, jiggliest looking omuraisu, which is an omelet rice. Let's give it a try and see if it's worth the hype. Let's go. Okay, so this is the menu. They have a number of different jiggly rice options available. Arigatouzaimasu. Um, and the most popular one is the double omelet, but they have a new one, which is the triple omelet. I think we're gonna give the triple one a try. And they also have toppings. You can get cheese added or extra rice added. And I love cheese and eggs, so I'm gonna go with a little bit of a cheese topping. I think it'll be really good. I also wanna get a drink with it. I have been told that the lemon skashu drink is really popular and it looks really pretty. Let's try the lemon skashu. All right, here it is. This is probably the jiggliest omelet I have ever seen. So now it's time for the moment of truth. We're going to cut open the jiggly omelet. Ooh, there we go. All of the juicy egg is still there on the inside. I'm gonna try from the top all the way to the bottom. Mmm. <gasps> It's super creamy. The tomatoes always a nice touch, but if you like eggs, mmm, this is really good. All right, let's try the lemon squash. Mmm. Ooh, very refreshing. It's like a lemonade soda, exactly like that. So now for the verdict. Is it worth the hype? I do think that if you are not a fan of runny eggs, this might be a little bit tricky for you to eat. But if you want something jiggly and fun, then yeah, I think it's worth the hype. This is a very tasty jiggly and creamy omelet. So I think it's worth a try. Well, that concludes my experience today, trying out the various viral foods I could find in Tokyo. All of them were very delicious in their own way, and it was a lot of fun trying them all out. I think my favorite food that I tried has to be the salmon ramen. That was probably just, I think that stood out amongst all the rest for sure. Very, very high quality, very tasty ramen. It's definitely worth a try. All of the other foods I tried were also really tasty and really fun to eat. And I think that's really quite key here with viral foods. Let me know in the comments down below which viral food you guys want to try the most and which one you want to try, even if it doesn't taste the way you expected, that you would get just for the wow factor. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys!